Hey guys, welcome to the video. So in today's video, we have a lot of things getting done. We have a lot of painting, just like the last couple of ones. We have a few setup updates, and by the way, I do stream on Twitch. Link will be in the description. Join the Discord. We have a bunch of free games. We have PC budget, like budget PC builds that you can go and find if you're building a PC. And I'll see you there. Also, play some games with us. We have a massive community. So I got this out of from my room, and I'm planning on putting my PC on it. And I don't want I want it to you know go with the color theme, which is currently black and sort of you know white hints around it, just like in some of the last ones. So I'm gonna open up my paint can, which took me a while to get open because I was doing it with one hand, but I managed to get there in the end. I'm gonna get my paintbrush, which I actually should probably clean as I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna stick it in there, and then we're gonna slap some paint on this. I ended up doing a couple of coats on this. Um, I did sand it down and I did sugarcoat it to sort of get rid of, um, you can see my paintbrush, this is so hard. Um, but I did uh, sugarcoat it. And if you don't know what sugarcoating is, it's pretty much sort of like a, eh, it's not like, it's like cleaning it. You get rid of any dust particles, any dirt that's on it um, for when you paint it. So it's less likely to peel. None of my other paintings have peeled yet, which is really good, so. So for this piece of furniture, I'm planning on putting my PC on it, which is going to be behind me in the background of my streams and in my room. Link is in the description. Um, so it this did take me a while to paint as I only had time to do half of it. Um, and then I had to go seeing, so seeing family. Um, so I ended up having to take this over multiple days. This is, uh, I think this is day two of me painting this side, which I didn't do. Um, but it, it did take me a while, but in the end, it's looking really clean. I mean, it's behind me right now and it's looking amazing. Now, I don't know whether I should have painted the bottom or the sides, seeing as not many, no one's going to see them. Um, so I sort of did a, a crappy job on them. Um, you know, there's, it's a bit patchy on one of the sides, but it's that side's facing the wall, so it shouldn't really matter or, you know, affect anything. It's still going to look really good. If any of you are wondering what this is, it is the mast um, thingy from Ikea. It's just called the mast. So if you guys do want to buy this and add it to your own room, as it is pretty cool, can stick a lot of stuff in it. Right now I have my bin on the inner little section of it as well as my little water jug and it's looking pretty clean. So I'm just going to leave that to dry for now. All right now I want to make some space for it so I'm just going to clear out the shelf where and then I'm going to put it in this corner. So we're going to get rid of my old laptop that's going to the dump pretty soon. We're going to get rid of this shelving unit which I'm going to give back to my parents because I was planning on keeping it but then I thought I could do a better idea. So I'm just going to plop that there and now we have space. Got to clean that plate, that corner up, make sure it's nice and, you know, ready for its new home. I finished painting it and it's dried up now, so, but I just want to be careful. So I'm going to put some newspaper underneath, make sure it's done. Um, but, you know, a couple days later, I removed the newspaper as I, you know, I kind of forgot. But it's looking pretty clean. I do want to say that where it's positioned, it's absolutely amazing. So, oh, it's got a nice matte coat finish. But um, on the back of it, there's, so it's a gap. Um, it can't go all the way against the wall because there's a little um, thing at the bottom, as you can see there. But there is the plug switches, the, like plug sockets are there. So I can literally just plug it straight into the wall, my PC. I can, you know, it's really convenient. I updated my um, my cac my little nightstand and I've put the cactus light instead of the flamingo and I've hit routed the cables behind it. So it's looking really clean now. There's not a cable in sight when you look at it from the front, which is crazy. The plug um, is underneath. Uh, the reason I can't have the flamingo because of where the plug is on the back of it. But I do have to switch the cactus light on from below, which is a hassle. This is my laptop, by the way. I got a couple questions on how I read chat and things. Uh, I actually use my laptop. I have a Lenovo Yoga, which is pretty much a, it's a dope uh, iPad. Well, it's like an iPad. You can flip the screen around as well as the keyboard. So then you can use it as like an iPad, which is sick if you're going to be doing Twitch emotes, Twitch stuff or drawing. So I just sort of have it like that. And then I have it next to my monitor and I use it as sort of like a second monitor. And it works amazing because it's also like flip screen. I, it's touch screen as well. So I can have it like that and I can just touch the screen. I can tap alerts, I can tap clip stuff. So it's like a built-in Elgato stream deck as well as, you know, double monitor, which is crazy. It's amazing. I have this old board, which has my sort of school timetable on it, which I'm gonna be cleaning. And boy, this is gonna take a while. It's been on there for like four months and it's all dried up. So I'm gonna be using a wipe and scrubbing that thing down, getting that all nice and clean because, oh, I also have a bunch of stickers on it. I have an Apple sticker, Turtle Beach, an Xbox, and a Sex Max sticker. Um, I got half of it done, and then I thought it was time to take the stickers off. Xbox One came off like a piece of cake. Really easy. I did accidentally stick my Sex Max sticker sideways. I, I did, yes. Unfortunately, none of these stickers I can reuse. I have to put them in the bin, which is really actually annoying. I actually kind of like the stickers there. 
So I'm going to have to get some more stickers, stick them on. If you guys do have any ideas for stickers, I may get a Supreme one. But um, comment down below on what kind of sticker I should get for this board. As I'm probably going to use it for, you know, Twitch boards, any like, you know, any sort of leaderboards or anything I'll probably put on there for the background of streams, stuff like that. But, um, you know, the Sex Wax sticker just wouldn't come off, so I had to do that. I had to get some scissors and sort of, you know, get a little uh, starting point for it. But it did come off satisfyingly. Except for on the fact that it sort of peeled off some of the stuff, as you can see where I'm touching now. It's left sort of a little... It's, like, removed half of it, so it's now... I can't draw on it. But it doesn't look that bad. I got it all cleaned up. It did take me, like, an hour to sort of clean up. Um, but I, I also was multitasking and doing some editing. But this is my room currently now is coming together really nicely. I've only been working on my room for about three, four weeks, a month maybe, and it's done tremendous progress. I just want to say thank you for watching the video. If you guys do have any suggestions or any ideas, comment down below. And I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.